Hello everybody, Mark's Remarks here and today I'll be doing the ASDA challenge day 8. Okay, so I'll remind you, just in case you haven't seen it uh, before, it's uh, I've taken £25 down to ASDA, bought as many ingredients as I can and I'm going to make as many dinners out of those ingredients as I can. One, one dinner a day. Um, I'm going to make as many dinners with that 25 quid, and at the end of it, we'll see how much it all cost and what the average is. So it's to show you that uh, you, you know you, you can actually have quite good dinners, which I've been making over the last eight days. You know, very very cheaply. Now today, one of the ingredients is going to be the ASDA Smart Price chips, uh, fry or oven cook. And I'm doing them in the, in the convection oven. There you go. So that's to show you how plain the box is. That's um, uh, one and a half kilos for 99p. Okay. So. 99p for one and a half kilos of chips. Uh, let me see. I'm doing the, uh, what else have I got? Hash browns, which you've seen me do. In fact, what I'll do. I'll bring you the thing. Okay, that um, that bag of chips split into five, four, split into four. So that makes uh, an individual portion of 25p. Hash browns at five pence each. It's four of them at, for makes 20. Ten onion rings at two and a half p makes 25 pence. And the gammon. Now, what I did, I bought a joint of gammon, a one and a half kilo. One and a half kilos of gammon for five pounds. What I did, I cut it in half, put the other half in the fridge and cooked the other half. So that makes two halves of two pounds 50 each. Now, I took the half that I cooked, cut that in half again, and that's what I'm having today. So that's two pound 50 divided by half is one pound 25. So the portion of gammon today is one pound 25. And uh, so basically I took that, yeah, so one and a half kilos of gammon split, basically split it into four pieces. Okay. Uh, so today's dinner is one pound 95 pence, which makes it by my math, one pound 95 makes it the third cheapest dinner. I've had so far. The most expensive one is two pounds sixty-five. So at one ninety-five, it's uh, the third. So almost halfway in the middle. Okay. Now that one pound twenty-five of gammon actually would normally be slightly, ever so slightly more than this. But yesterday, I took up um, the sandwich challenge, which is called. Uh, the Sandwich of Righteous Justice Challenge. It was invented by Pete Thomas. So if you want to see, uh, as you, you can type in his name or, or, or go to the uh, description, uh, the comments, have a look for his icon, click on that, it'll go on to him. But if you want to see my one, just uh, but it's Mark's Remarks Sandwich of Righteous Justice Challenge. I did a sandwich right here with gammon and some other stuff and some sauces. Uh, anyway, that was yesterday, and oh, so actually, speaking of uh, actually, what I do, I'll, I'll do this, and uh, anyway, I'll show you this. That's the chips, onion rings, and hash browns. Okay, you just see that? Yeah. It's hard to see what you can see because I'm looking at a screen full of numbers. There's a clock, there's a timer, there's a battery thing. Anyway, now I'm going to pour all of that. Okay, so we've got a pretty big plate. Uh, on the side, I've got a couple of slices of bread that uh, I made yesterday. But that's just on the side. Okay, I'm going to put some vinegar. And a, a little bit of salt. Now, I was thinking about putting my co-op ketchup on there. But then... Actually, I might still do that, but but then I remembered I had this, the sweet chili marinade. There we go. I think it's about a uh, about a quid fifty or just under. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to... This actually goes well with chips and other ingredients, so I'm going to pour that over the top. Yeah. So there we are. That's uh, it's got some sweet chilli sauce on some of it. So once I get through that, I might put some ketchup on there. Okay. Anyway, in regard to the sandwich, I asked you, the viewers, what would you call that sandwich? And you know, it's uh, was it gammon, and it had uh, some sauce, sweet Carolina sauce. Um, Gherkins, cheese, anyway. Oh, an onion ring. Anyway, have a look at it. Paul, or Paulie, 420, called it the Manwich. Very good, Manwich, that's from Paulie 420. And Lifeguard 2564 said, uh, ring, uh, ring o' pork with cheese. Ring o' pork with cheese. Well done. Okay, so shout out for you two. You're the, uh, the, the, actually the only two that come up with names actually, but <laughs> thank you to you both. All right. But yeah, I mean, if anybody else has any names on it, great. You know, I'll give you, if it's any good, I'll read it out. Mm. Tell you what though, this gammon is really good. It, um, yeah, let's say one and a half kilos, cut it in half. It tastes like two and a half hours to cook. Although, two and a half hours to cook the whole joint. I cut it in half, but I still put it in for two and a half. So I realised later that I should have uh, reduced it down. By. But it hasn't, um, it hasn't burnt or anything. It's gone quite dark along the edges. may sound like a lot for one ingredient because I'm you know trying to do this on a budget but when I looked at it I figured I could I could put that into you know maybe three or four um, divide that into three or four portions like and as it happens um, if I cut it in half like I did I didn't want to cook the whole lot because then the timer starts going you know uh, on its uh, shelf life so I cut it in half, cooked half, and I split that again. So, you know, I, I can make four. Four dinners with gammon in it. I mean, I, I did use some of the gammon yesterday on the sandwich. And, uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with that sandwich. Um, yeah, if you want to know about the sandwich, you, you know how, how that works, or you want to you want to take a, um, get involved in the sandwich, just make a sandwich. Anyway, yeah, go on to Pete Channel's Pete uh, Thomas's channel. He can explain. But basically, the idea is you make, you make the perfect sandwich. What you would like, in my uh, thought, you, you know, what you would like in a shop, a shop to make. You know, if you want to put your name, not necessarily call it your name, but associate your name with a sandwich that you invented. What would it be? And uh, yeah, if you've um, if you've got a channel, by all means, go for that and just entitle it "Sandwich of Righteous Justice Challenge," and then we all know uh, we we'll all know where to find it. Mm. Anyway, so I did that. That was actually quite good. In fact, um, like I said on the video, you know, I mean, I would actually buy that meal if it was in a shop. It was very good. Gammon's very nice. Oop. These onion rings are a little bit too uh, overdone. Mm. Okay. This is, I mean, it says on it, sweet chilli marinade. But, it, I mean, it is actually quite sweet. I put a fair amount all over the, uh, over the chips. But, uh, but yeah, you know, as for the as for the gammon, I wanted to uh, buy something. I wanted to try and buy a varied amount of uh, different foods. 
We have bought some Kievs. Uh, where was it? Can't remember now. Um, I remember I bought some pies. Yeah, chicken. The, as for the meat, it was chicken Kievs. I uh, bought some pork. Oh, pork chops. Yeah, that was it. Chicken pies, gammon, more pies, oven chips, onion rings, all kinds of things. Yeah, I wanted to get a variety, you know? I mean, because gammon, you know, when, when you figure the five pound it costs for the gammon, but you can split that four ways into four dinners, that works out actually quite good. It's only one pound 25 per allotment of, uh, of meat. I mean, that 125, I mean, that's quite good, you know, that's, that's cheaper than, um, you know, pork chops or, you know, possibly chicken. But it does, it, it makes a very nice change. And, um, yeah, I've got, got some good chunks, you know, considering I cut it into four, I've got some good chunks of sizable meat here. And that's, you know, and that's, um, imagine what you have, know, because yesterday I made the sandwich. If I hadn't made the sandwich, this this amount of meat would be slightly more. No, but the sandwich is worth it. Could even make another sandwich out of what I uh, what I got left over. Anyway, oh boy, right. I'm gonna stop eating. Stop eating now and uh, tell you that it's. Gammon, onion rings, hash brown, and chips. There we are. Uh, th there's no veg in here today. Um, I'll be. I, I might go back to the. I've got. I've still got a couple of bags of um, potatoes to get through. Uh, but but I can I can do the potatoes with the gammon and some you know all kinds of things. Anyway, there you have it. Another cheap dinner. The third cheapest. One pound ninety five for meat chips. Onion rings and hash browns. There you have it. It can be done. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.